Russia, but we're going to join hands with other people right at 12 noon. So this is happening around the country and around the world. So essentially there is a wave of joined hands as the time zones change um, against offshore oil and, uh, and in favor of a clean energy future. That's, so that's sort of the history of Hands Across Sand. My name is Jamie Zachariah. I work for the New Jersey chapter of the Sierra Club, and we're here today at Bradley Beach for Hands Across the Sand. Why is offshore drilling bad for the environment? Well, besides the fact that we're promoting the use of fossil fuels, such as oil, which is, we all know is bad for the environment, drilling for it in the ocean is very dangerous for all the creatures that live in the ocean and for us because if there's an oil spill, which inevitably there will be and there has been, it washes up on our shore, it gets into our fisheries, and it makes people sick and it makes the environment sick and it ruins our oceans. Here because you know New Jersey uh, still has some of the you know best beaches anywhere, and we have a 28 billion dollar a year coastal tourism industry that depends on clean water and, and nice beaches. And the biggest concern we have is that if we allow for drilling off the coast of New Jersey, it's going to mean potentially an oil spill, and even a small spill could have devastating consequences on our coastal tourism economy and on the environment. You know, we have um, white rat whales and, and sea lions and seals and all kinds of fisheries that are off our coast. And so an oil spill could have a catastrophic environmental and ecological impact. And New Jersey still has a very active and large fishing industry and they could be devastated by a spill. And so it's really about the environment, but it's also about our economy. Uh, and then, of course, the other big issue is that the more we keep pumping oil out of the ground and burning fossil fuels, the more we keep adding to climate change and to climate disruption. And we've seen it firsthand in New Jersey, you know, with Hurricane Sandy. What'd you say? Get the frack out of here! <laughs> fossil uh, fuel towards Don't renewable worry. energy, I, I, I climate impacts are going to get worse. And, you know, there's a study at Rutgers that said in the next generation, almost 10% of New Jersey could disappear. Uh, and it's not just, you know, like Long Beach Island, it's also places like the Meadowlands and, and other areas of the state that, come, you know, would go underwater. So, you know, climate change is real, sea level rise is, is real. We see in places like Long Beach Island, fish living in storm drains. And so, you have to understand that we need to do something about it. And drilling for more oil not only threatens our beaches and our ecosystem, but will promote more climate impacts and more sea level rise. And the only reason we're here is because of the fossil fuel in a White House who sides with big oil and gas over the beaches of New Jersey and over the environment. And, and that's the other reason we have, you know, Rexon Tillerson, head of the uh, you know, Secretary of State. And it's, it's really about big oil. Look, we fought for 40 years to keep uh, oil rigs off the oceans in New Jersey. And we'll keep fighting for another 40 years. When people come to a beach here, they want to, the only oil they want to see is copper top. And I think that's what this is about. This is a battle for our coast and our, and our, and our beaches. It's also a battle for the future.